And it goes like, I will be as are you in the bed. I will put you back into your clip. He's here again with another tutorial. I know you haven't seen me in a while, and uh, there's a couple reasons for that. One is, I wasn't here for a lot of the summer, and two is I'm lazy and don't feel like making these tutorials. Uh, truth is, they take a very long time to make. Anyway, um, I found something cool that's a real quickie that I think a lot of you are going to enjoy. Um, if you're like me, y your computer isn't all that great. Even though I know a lot of you assume my computer is this amazing thing, I don't know why. But you have a small hard drive. Like, if you see here in my computer, you have uh, local disk C. This is where everything on your computer is stored. You go to properties. And look at that. I have almost half my hard drive filled. That's, that's where you get a little scared at that point. But what if I told you that you could add six extra gigs right here? My total capacity is 37. What if I said I could add almost seven actually, almost seven gigs of extra space for free, virtually, so you don't have to buy anything, and it's password protected, so even if someone broke into your computer, uh, hacked it or got on, deleted everything, everything in that drive would still be safe. Sounds too good to be true, but I'm not lying. Okay, so here's how it works. Google, the amazing people that they are, provide Gmail, just like Hotmail and um, Yahoo, don't use Yahoo, um, a whole bunch of email services. But the thing with uh, Gmail is, I just went to Hotmail, thanks. I lost my train of thought there. Gmail. Okay. So the thing with Gmail is, though, that they have this, um, this thing that says that you never have to delete your email because they give you so much space. Um, and it's true, they give you a lot of space. But with this little program that I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to download with you, it will actually take your Gmail account, which I have already made previously, and um, connect your computer to it. So instead of filling up your Gmail account with mail and junk mail from other companies and whatever, you can upload st stuff to it and actually have it as a hard drive like you would see in here. So I'm actually going to do this with you. First, you're going to need a Gmail account. Do that after the tutorial. Don't interrupt me. Um, okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to this Softpedia site. I'll have the direct link in the description. And this will get you the shell um, for, uh, here we go, Gmail Drive Shell Extension. And that's the program that you're going to need to link your Gmail with your computer, blah, 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 whatever. So if you're in the U.S., even if you're not in the US, just click on secure, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Um, download it. I, I'm a, I don't need to say it. You know if you're American or not, and you see the American flag, just click it. Okay, it doesn't want to cooperate. Only because I'm filming, you know, just decides to hate me at that time. No, it's honestly because filming slows down my computer quite a bit. Alright, come on. Okay, there we go. Um, it's going to ask you to download the zip file. If you don't know what a zip file is, I recommend Googling it. But go to download.com and just get um, WinZip or you just you Google it. You, you'll find it. It's just uh, compressing a file. So we're going to save it. It's very, very small. It's just a shell. Let's clear out the rest of that crap later. Screw it, I'll just do it now. Alright. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Got our little thing down here. X out of that. Minimize that. Alright, here we go. We're going to right click and hit extract all. Next. Next. Finished. And we get this new little folder down here. Let me just delete the zipped one, move that up there. Okay, so here we go. We have our setup information, this .dl, which makes the program run. Um, compiled HTML help file, don't even worry about it. 
All right, so you can hit uh, setup, and it's gonna yeah, just hit run. It's nothing bad, I promise. Okay, and you might get an error here. If so, just um, restart. That's the bug with this version. But um, I'll I'll keep you. I'll give you a new version in the description. Like yours might be newer than the one in this video. For some reason that didn't pop up, but it doesn't matter. It's useless anyway. X out of that. Whoa, lag. Okay. All right, we're all good. So there we go. That was that was it. It was that easy. Now, if you don't understand what actually happened this whole time, I'll show you right now. So as you can see here, we have a new drive called Gmail Drive, just like our local C, which you know can hold that. So if we um, open this, double click, you get this Gmail thing, and here you enter in your Gmail account, such as mine, if I can even remember what it is. Uh, auto login, logging into Gmail. Wow, you see that? That's from filming. Okay, here we go. Now we have our own little hard drive. It's it's empty now, but um, let's just for the sake of it say we want some music. My music. Uh, who do I want? Who do I want? Uh, let's just put in our entire basement folder in there. It's actually sending it over the internet to my Gmail account and uploading it just like um, just like any mail would be uploaded with attachments and all that kind of stuff it obviously holds files anyway so instead of using it for mail because I don't care about my mail I can now use it for space and the beauty about this thing is that's like seven gigs of space it's giving you and there's no limit to how many gmail accounts you can have so if you have a lot of music um, just get more gmail accounts it's absolutely free so why wouldn't you also it's password uh, protected like you just saw so no one could ever get to it and you can access it from any other computer in the world as long as you download this uh, this shell so it's like the ultimate flash drive um, I really hope everyone here knows what a flash drive is but like, you, you can't beat it there's just no way and the reason I'm procrastinating is because this is taking way too long to upload because, well, one, I think I have a lot of bass hunter music, but two, it's because I'm filming. So I probably should have done just like one song, which would have been better. Um, and my mouse is blinking a lot, which, which normally means when I'm filming, it's bad. So, oh, okay, it's, it's actually almost done. I will use my, my editing skills to make this go faster. Okay, after how long that took, I realized I listened to too much Bass Hunter. That or I have a slow connection, I'm not sure. So as you can see here, it, yeah, I just have a slow connection. As you can see here, it uh, uploaded all my music, for, oh, well, Bass Hunter music, to my Gmail account. And it's in my hard drive, so now I can actually just open it up from here from now on, which is, you know, excellent because I could actually just delete it off my computer now and um, I wouldn't have to worry about the space on my actual physical hard drive because I could always get it from the internet again it, it, it's literally retarded not to do this sorry and if that offends anyone go screw yourself alright so just to prove that it was real I'm gonna go back to my computer we'll have no gmail again look at it look there it is and um, please subscribe I have a few more videos lined up. I just have to wait for uh, for something to happen. I promise you're gonna like the next one. I'm not gonna give it away, but it's gonna it's gonna be a pretty good one if I can if I can get my hands on something. So yeah, please subscribe at that big orange yellowish button, and um, that's it. All right, see you next time. I will be as are you in the bed.